How about you, Wayne? Did did uh, Jack ever challenge you or provoke you? Jack, um, you know, in a in a very very personal way, um, he um, he impa he impacted my life uh, in in ways that uh, uh, that it's impossible for me to uh, to describe. He um, one of the things that he did uh, is he worked. Uh, um, uh, with a lot of people who um, had issues around uh, around substance abuse, um, he had a place. I think it was up in Canada, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Where mm -hmm. uh, I don't even remember what it was called. Pavilion. Uh, yeah, yeah, the pavilion. And he would bring people there who had uh, uh, had uh, you know, problems with alcohol and problems with drugs and so on. I think Jack, at one time in his own life, did as well, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And. Um, and so I was uh, at that time uh, in the nineteen uh, in the nineteen seventies. Um, I was drinking um, and um, on a on a daily basis, um, not not uh, not ever getting drunk and not getting out of control. But it was something that I did every single day. Um, I was I was running. I was uh, running marathons and and all of these things. But uh, I also had this uh, this dependency on uh, on on alcohol. And um, he invited me, you know, to come up and speak at, at the at the pavilion. Um, and um, I was never able to go up uh, and do that. I just wasn't able to fit it into my schedule. But uh, he, we, we talked one time about uh, this whole idea of of, of letting go of a, of a, a dependency on something external to yourself in order to uh, in order to feel good and feel positive about yourself. And um, it was it was my interactions with him, and it was also the talking when I came to the church to speak, which I did very frequently. Um, I would I would very often uh, talk to people when I would be in Jack's office, or people would come in, and they'd all talk about uh, how uh, significant it, uh, Jack had been in in helping them to overcome these uh, these kinds of dependencies, and that he had devoted his life uh, to the creation of a place where people didn't have to be subjected to uh, you know the, the the horrors of uh, of alcoholism and and drug addiction and so on, and um, it was my connection with him and my relationship to him and my uh, talking to so many of the people that had been there and um, had, had found a way to get that uh, to get that cross off of their back um, and and live a life of enlightenment and and spiritual consciousness and so on, and um, I. I did two things in in response to uh, my relationship with Jack at that time. One was that I began running, and I I ran. Uh, I I started to get myself in shape, in the kind of shape that I still am in today at the age of almost 75, which was um, uh, I was running eight miles a day. I got my body up in the shape, and then I began to run marathons. And then I told Jack I was going to go over to Greece, and I was going to run the original uh, Greek wow. marathon. And, and when I was finished, I was going to shout, here come the Persians, like Philippines <laughs> did, and we had a great talk about that. And I also decided that, uh, that I was going to give up alcohol, and I was going to do it, uh, and I wasn't going to do it because I, I, I was uh, labeled, labeling myself an alcoholic or anything like that. I was going to do it because uh, Jack uh, had uh, indicated that if you really want to reach the highest levels, um, that you uh, signed up for, that you really came to this world too, because he used to tell me, and, and, and he'd say it in the church, he said, Wayne, you're not just um, one of the best speakers that I've ever encountered. He said, you are the best. You are the best speaker that I have ever heard. And I want you to, uh, to really r let that resonate within you and realize that if you want to really fulfill the Dharma that is, uh, that is your destiny, that you can't do it if you're uh, if you're putting something into your body that will um, that will destroy brain cells. You just simply can't do it. You get a choice one way or the other. Mm. And I walked away from it. I just and that um, and it still held uh, to this day. I haven't had uh, any alcohol uh, or anything like that in my body uh, since the 1970s. And that was really the impact of what Jack's work did. I mean, it really changed my life in a very very big way. And I always tell my children, I have eight children, I always tell them that the smartest decision I ever made in my life was the day that I decided I was no longer going to rely upon something external to myself in order to fulfill a dharma that is, uh, that is mine. And, mm. um, you know, and right. I 
right. encourage them to do that. None of them have acted on it the way I have, but uh, they're also not, you know, they're much younger as well. So I can't think of anything that has, was more impactful uh, You're in You're right. Life. Thank you. That's, that is impactful to really be challenged to live to your highest potential um, and to see it within yourself that that is, that it's so beautiful that you would tr pay tribute to Jack in that way.